going to be very confusing. Terrell, I'm really trying not to pick on you, man, but you're really making it too easy. Put it down and be paying attention for this. Because I have to keep on saying your name, so I'm picking on you. So what I'd like to be able to do for this one is when we're looking at our special right triangles, once we knew a leg, we knew the other leg was exactly the same, right? Once we knew the two legs were the same and we wanted to find the hypotenuse, we had to do what? We had to multiply, right, by what value? What are we multiplying x by? The square root of two. The square root of two, though, right? So if you have the legs, you know that the other leg is exactly the same. To find the hypotenuse, you multiply by the square root of two. So here I'm giving you the hypotenuse. This is already. Um, this is already your value. So if I want to go backwards and find the legs, what do you think I'm going to want to do? Divide. Divide by the square root of 30, or the square root of 2. And then since I know these two legs are exactly the same, I'm done. No, it's the square root of 2. Okay, 30 divided by the square root of 2, which again, you can approximate or leave it up in your own. All right. Um, 